now we're going to be working, uh, continuing to work with rational expressions and functions. And in this case, we're going to be working with dividing rational expressions. Okay. And once again, let's do a little bit of review of what you learned earlier. Um, so let's review the division with rational numbers. Suppose we have a over b, a rational number, and that's divided by c over d. Back uh, uh, when you did this before, you probably learned that what you need to do is to invert and multiply. So after we invert, the problem becomes a multiplication problem, and we're back to uh, the previous section. All right, so to invert and multiply then, we're going to say a over b is going to mul be multiplied by d over c, and that means that it's a multiplication problem, and now we can say this is a times d divided by b times c. So the, th the words that are really crucial in division of rational expressions are going to be invert and multiply. So let's take some examples. Suppose we have x cubed divided by 3y. That's one rational expression. And that expression is going to be divided by x to the fifth over 9y squared. Okay. A word of caution here, don't invert don't begin canceling factors until you invert and multiply because you could be canceling incorrectly. For, uh, if we had, a, a, for example, something in a, this denominator which was a common factor to that numerator, it would be incorrect to cancel those out. So the first thing you need to do is to invert and multiply. So we're going to use x cubed over 3y, and we're going to be multiplying it by the inverted divisor. So invert the divisor and multiply. This is called the divisor, the number we're dividing by. Okay. At this point, because it's a multiplication problem, we can go ahead and uh, cancel common factors. And once again, we'll go ahead and do the multiplication. This is x cubed times 9y squared, and it's divided by 3y times x to the fifth. Okay. So we can go ahead and begin simplifying. And uh, when we look at this, we see that we have x's in both uh, x factors in the numerator and in the denominator, so those can be uh, canceled out. So we'll cancel an x, x cubed from the numerator, and we'll cancel three of the x factors in the denominator, leaving an x squared. It might be a little bit hard to see there, so I'll write it over here. We have an x squared that's left in the denominator because we canceled three of the x factors with those in the numerator. We can cancel a y that's common to both the numerator and denominator, leaving a y in the numerator. Then we have a 9 and a 3. Let's uh, cancel the 3s. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 9 three times, and so we're left with 3y in the uh, numerator and an x squared in the denominator. So we've written this expression in simplest terms. So division of uh, rational expressions becomes a multiplication problem as we did earlier. Let's look at something that's a little bit uh, more involved. And so let's consider an example where we have x squared minus 4 over 3x squared divided by 2 minus x over 11x. This is a division problem, and therefore we're going to need to invert and multiply first. So invert the, the divisor and multiply. So we'll have x squared minus 4 over 3x squared. And now we're going to be inverting the divisor here, which is 11x divided by 2 minus x. And now it becomes a multiplication problem. And so this is going to be equal to x squared minus 4 times 11x divided by 3x squared times 2 minus x. 
And at this point, we're ready to simplify. We want to write this in lowest terms. And so because we're ready to simplify, we're, the first thing we'll try to do is to factor completely um, both the numerator and denominator. So we've got x squared minus 4. That's the difference of two squares. So let's write that as x minus 2 times x plus 2. And I will write the 11x in front to make it a little bit clearer. For the denominator, we still have the 3x squared. And now we've got this 2 minus x. But by now, you probably are recognizing that x minus 2 and 2 minus x differ just by a negative 1 factor. So let's go ahead and factor that negative 1 out from the denominator. And we'll write the denominator as negative 1 times x minus 2. We've rewritten 2 minus x as the product of minus 1 times x minus 2. So now we're ready to simplify. We've got an x minus 2 in the denominator and an x minus 2 in the numerator. We've got an x squared in the denominator and an x in the numerator. Let's cancel one of those x's out. And let's look and see what we have left. We've got an 11 in the numerator and an x plus 2. And for the denominator, we've got this negative 1 times a neg uh, 3x. So let's just write that as a negative 3x. Well, look again. Is there anything else that we could simplify? Again, don't be tempted to cancel the x's because the x in the numerator is not a factor. x in the numerator is not a factor. I keep emphasizing this because uh, uh, this is an error that happens over and over again, canceling quantities that are not factors.